By removing the valve first, anagram crystal clears balloons can be filled with all manner of different things, such as small latex balloons as a gumball, with lengths of tulle cut and inserted, or with feathers, or obviously with confetti. The first stage of the procedure is to take the valve out of the balloon. So, take your balloon, put some air into it first, and inflate it till it is full but not stretched. And then you pinch the neck from seam to seam, not from front to back, but from seam to seam. So pinch it sideways like that and then remove the end of the neck below the seal line at an angle across the seam. So pinch the two seams together and then put your scissors at an angle and cut off the whole of the seal and then squeeze the balloon and it will eject the valve. And that removes it really simply. It also produces a front edge and a back edge to the neck of the balloon which then makes it easier for you to find the opening to get everything else in. If you cut straight across then the nature of the balloon is that it will tend to stick together a little like cling film and with a straight cut it's very very difficult then to open the neck. Um, there's a sticker on here for legal reasons which can get in the way so I do tend to like to remove that sticker it makes tying it off more easily at the end. And then you will open up the neck of your balloon either with a stretching tool, push it down so that the tips of the tool are right inside the balloon, the neck is all concertinaed up and stretch it open like that and you have a nice big opening into which you can put whatever you're filling your balloon with. Or obviously you can use a funnel if you're using small confetti or glitter or, or, or something like that. So just put your funnel into the balloon and insert through there. That will then, when you inflate it with helium afterwards, will mean that the confetti just sits in the bottom, much like the feathers here. If you want the confetti to stick to the sides of the balloon and completely cover the inside, then we need to use high float. So we do exactly the same up to this point and then push out any extra air, just flatten the balloon again. And then we're going to put in the high float. So I'm going to use what might appear to be quite a lot of high float. It has the orange clip on which is the clip for an 11 inch balloon and I'm going to put in two complete pushes of high float because once the balloon is fully inflated it's very large and unless you use an appreciable amount of high float it won't spread around so pull the balloon like this so that the tip of your high float nozzle is, is in the center of the balloon and push down twice now of course you can get quite creative with this um, because you can direct the high float to wherever you want it to be. So if you don't want it all over the inside of the balloon, just at the top, just at the bottom, in a band across the middle, whatever you want to do, you can do that and then you may need to adjust the amount of high float accordingly. So if I only wanted the confetti to be in the top half of the balloon for whatever reason, I would only use one um, measure of high float instead of two. But on this occasion I'm going to do it all the way over. Then need a squeegee, something like this, which is sold for vinyl application. Um, even a, 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 a tile grouting tool will work or failing everything else, the edge of a store card or a credit card. Just needs to be a straight edge that you can use to spread the high float. So start in the middle where you've put your high float and drag it, drag a bit of it to the outside, go all the way around pulling your high float to the outer edge of the balloon and then spread it around the edge and back into the middle. Now if you want complete coverage with no 
patches, bald patches, empty patches, um, make sure that you do spend the time to ensure that every part of the inside of the balloon is covered. Um, if you're being a little bit more creative and it doesn't matter, then obviously you can go a little quicker, but it, it does pay to spend the time to make sure that it is completely covered. And you can hold it up to the light and double check to make sure that you've got it all. Uh, there's a large piece here that somehow or other has escaped, so I'm just going to pull the high float from elsewhere in the balloon to cover that. And then we'll just double check again. Uh, I believe we have it. I'll just make sure there. So with practice, you'll be able to do this more easily um, and more quickly. Okay, once you're happy with the coverage of the high float, we then need to open up the balloon to make room for the confetti. Um, so once again, we'll use air. Get the confetti ready. Now, elsewhere in the uh, resources hub on the Amscan website, under charts and tables, you will find um, information on the liftability of clears inflated to different sizes. So you'll be able to gauge how much confetti or feathers or, or balloons or anything else um, your balloon can take. Um, fully inflated to 22 inches, um, a crystal clears balloon will lift 85 grams. So a 20 gram packet of confetti, a 15, 20 gram packet of confetti is not a problem for a balloon of this type. We can use the entire pack. Okay, so open up the balloon with air. This will be your last chance to check that your high float is covered because now you can see quite clearly where it all is. So just, just have a little look around, make sure everything's fine. It, indeed it is, so we're ready to put the confetti inside. Um, you need to work quite fast at this point because if you take too long, the confetti will have a tendency to clump and stick together because of the high float. So in goes the stretching tools. Open up the neck as wide as you can and then put your confetti into the balloon. I'm not going to go for every last piece because it takes too long to pick it all up but as much as I can reasonably manage as quickly as possible. There we go, that should do. And now we fill with helium. If we want it to fly, obviously if you want it to stay with air, then fill with air, but I'm going to helium fill. Use a latex inflator so that you've got the pressure to inflate the balloon and the force because we want to use the helium to blast the confetti. Now inflate this far and shake to get as even coverage as possible. Inflate a little bit more. Shake a bit more. If there's any loose pieces of confetti, you can direct those to anywhere that is empty. And when you're happy with the coverage, take the balloon up to the required size. To seal the balloon, we can either use ribbon or um, an uninflated or scrap of modelling balloon, or you can, with care, pull down on the neck to stretch it and tie it like a latex balloon. I find ribbon as easy as anything else, so hold the neck, spin the balloon a few times, and then with your ribbon. Just wrap it around the neck once or twice, pull it nice and tight, go around again 
and then I prefer to fold the neck, the, the twisted neck over and tie it to hold it in that folded position and that will give the perfect seal like so. And there's a confetti filled crystal clears balloon. <laughs>